Hey what's going on everyone my name is Daniel and welcome back for another video. So today's video we are going to be taking a look at the iPhone X in 2022. Now the first thing is I have been wanting to make this video for a long time but I have been waiting for something to happen and that something hasn't happened for like three weeks now so I figured out why should I just make the video so today's video is going to be divided into five categories first up is going to be the overall design of the phone the software of the phone the battery performance and the last cameras so let's get on with the first category let's firstly talk about the overall design of the iPhone X the overall design of the iPhone X has basically uh, aged very well in the last few years that dual camera hasn't aged a lot because uh, right after maybe two years Apple switched to the three camera system on the iPhone 11 Pros and that that three camera system has been going on for years now but the thing is that the dual camera system has been an iconic design of Apple for a long time and it still is an iconic back of the phone the overall design of the phone is really great glass on the back and stainless steel frames i mean the overall phone weighs a little bit higher but that just makes the phone feel a little bit more premium at least in my opinion but the overall design i'm gonna give like an 8 out of 10. okay let's start with the software of the phone the software of the phone is still ios 16.0.2 and it comes with all the goodies of ios 16 like lock screen customization which I know is not that cool and battery percentage indicator I'm not even gonna talk about that one either but the crazy thing about the iPhone X is the phone is almost six years old and it probably is still going to have two or three more years of software updates which is really great for Apple fans the phone is still gonna be working really fine for the next two or three years after that it's not that the phone is going to be obsolete all of a sudden it's just that it is slowly going to go to you know towards the overall void of the iPhones where not a single iPhone is working properly but it's still two years to come so in a software department I probably am going to give it like a 9 out of 10 just because the phone has been out for so many years and still is going to be supported for like two or three more years the iPhone X that hasn't aged well is definitely going to be the battery life of the phone the phone barely gives me five to six hours of screen time which you know is good and all and I know I use a lot of phone but the thing is that I really have to charge it like after every single hour or so which is annoying and get this the battery life of any iphone is never going to be as good as the battery life of something like an android or something okay so in battery life department i am going to give it like a 5 out of 10 just because it gives me multiple discharges between the day and i really just have to care about you know charging my phone okay let's talk about the pros of the phone this is probably the only reason the iphone x is probably one of the best phones i've ever used and that is going to be the performance department the a11 is really good in normal day-to-day -day usage multitasking keeping apps open in the background multiple games in the background which is quite surprising to me because the a11 chipset was you know succeeded with a 12 a 13 14 15 and now a 16 but still it runs like a champ like multiple games like asphalt 9 in the background excel sheets in the background it still keeps all those things in the background just because the chipset is really really powerful even with three gigs of ram or maybe four gigs of ram in the iphone x it still runs like a champ gameplays of the phone are really smooth really buttery with no frame rates you know no broken frame rates or anything like that overall normal people are still going to use the iPhone X in you know normal day-to-day -day usage like whatsapp Facebook Twitter or something like that but those things are also buttery as well so in the performance department it's like a solid 9.5 out of Another thing that a lot of people are going to love about the iPhone X is going to be the cameras of the phone. Although the cameras are still dual cameras, one is a 12 megapixel camera and the other is like a 4 megapixel depth sensor. But let me get this straight, the depth sensor is probably one of the most highest quality depth sensors 
I have ever seen in a while. I've used the Galaxy A30s, the Galaxy J6 Plus, the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus. I've seen those phones and those phones take like two to three minutes to focus on an object for like, you know, normal objects out there. But the iPhone X has, you know, instant focus on anything that you put in front of it, which is really good for a lot of people. And, you know, but most people really don't use you know the depth sensor for videos most people really use the depth sensor for something like portrait mode shots and a lot of those but i really showed you my case scenarios in my case the cameras are solid also it is capable of recording 4k 60 frames per second on the rear camera and the front camera is like an fhd 30 fps the front camera isn't that you know impressive and all but this video is still going to be made with the front camera of the iphone x so except for the b-rolls because i really just have to put the iphone x the cameras of the iphone x although a bit dated but still they are reliable so they are going to get in 8 out of 10 in the camera department. Okay, that's it for today's video. The conclusion is you can still buy an iPhone X in 2022, but the thing is, if you don't care about software support, if you don't care about Apple products in general, because there are a lot of people out there who really prefer Android over iOS, but because just because that iOS is from Apple and Apple just gives you a, con a ton of restrictions in the software and you just can't sideload stuff for movies or music onto your device then just don't go for an iPhone X I want you to go towards a Galaxy A52 or something or maybe like a used Galaxy S10 is going to be way better it's gonna have almost the same camera system almost the same photography level and the performance is going to be really great in day-to-day -day uses the battery life is going to be a thousand times better on those phones but the iphone x has its cons like the performance is the software support for like two to three more years that is going to be unbeatable for a lot of androids but in the battery department now nah. if you're getting an iphone x consider checking the battery first or maybe just getting a replacement battery overall that's it for today's video hope you like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the very next episode